Good morning, sports board gaming fans. Anthony with Bleacher Bums Gaming, and uh, we're going to go back in the grid zone this morning. And uh, grid zone, an excellent uh, football-based game uh, by Gary Brown, and it can be ordered at Stone Mountain Press. The link is in the description. And basically what this does is simulate a key play sequence of a football game. And again, it's not a direct uh, translation. It is based on football and uh, a seven-on-seven -seven format. A very quick, fun, and exciting game to play. And uh, the teams I'm playing, these are college teams that I have home-brewed uh, based on some ratings formulas I've come up with. And again, these are not official Grid Zone products, but if you have the game and want these, uh, so far I've only got eight rated. I've got uh, these two. I've got Ohio State, Oklahoma, Army, uh, Liberty, BYU, and Alabama. And I'll rate more as, uh, obviously, uh, time permits. But uh, again, these it's a, it's a really cool game. I'll also give anyone who wants it the uh, rating sheet that I use to come up with these if you want to create your own team. And again, not an officially endorsed or sanctioned product, but Gary, as always, very supportive. So uh, this game features, uh, of course, uh, our third contest between Clemson and Notre Dame. Notre Dame uh, won an exciting, thrilling game in the regular season. Clemson, uh, the beat down in the ACC championship game. Uh, both teams match up fairly well, both a power factor of 10. Uh, Clemson, when I was rating them, surprisingly did not come up as strong offensively as I thought they might, uh, particularly Trevor Lawrence. He only got a two in both P and X. Uh, and Travis Etienne, a much better... Uh, receiving running back than he is actually a rusher based on the statistical formula he's rate the teams. But defensively, probably a uh, slight edge to Clemson. So again, a very even and uh, what should be a tightly contest uh, contested matchup. I think more like the first game than the second. Uh, there'll be no power die in this since both teams have a power factor of 10. So whatever result we get is the result we will go with. So we're ready for kickoff, and Clemson is a favorite team. We'll start first with the ball. And just a refresher, you roll a 3d6 and a d12. The yellow d6 is uh, for events 1 to 5. You go to the game chart. On a roll of 6, you go to the event chart, which likely means a penalty or other uh, injury possibly. And then the uh, black and white die decide the defensive and offensive play calls. So here we go. Clemson are ready to start the game. Fix my score sheet and we will get going. All right, here we go. Play number one, and it is going to be Clemson with the ball. X factor against a run defense, so X play against a run defense with a roll of four. So star level linebacker greater than star level running back, rushing back or running back, no gain at the point of attack. So for Notre Dame, uh, Owusu Koromoa is a three, and that does indeed beat uh, Eddie Enns. Star rating. So that is going to be a defensive stop for Notre Dame to start the game. And a no score for Clemson on their first drive. So Notre Dame now will take over. And Ian Book leads the Fighting Irish out onto the field. Here we go. And it is going to be a running play against an X defense for the Irish. And a roll of 11. So combined run level, star running back, and star O-line greater than three, a gain of five. So uh, Kyron Williams is a one. Again, neither team has a surprisingly or surprisingly neither team has a strong rushing attack. And star O-line is a two, and that's Eichenberg. So that's going to be three. That will not be greater than five. It's going to be a gain of two as defenders contain a potentially dangerous play. So Notre Dame. Their first possession gets the first points of this contest. And again, each zone you advance is considered a point. So 
Irish back up to the line. Book looks over the defense, makes a call, and six. We're going to the event chart, and ten is going to be a flag on the offense. That's going to be a penalty. Minus one, and they will replay uh, the down. All right, Book gets a signal from the sideline, leads the team up, and this will be a good play. Five for the Irish, and it's going to be a pass play. Uh, we're going to go with the deep option, and this will be coming against an X defense. So deep pass against X, roll of 11. Quarterback pass level three, touchdown, and Ian Book is only a two, and otherwise that's going to be complete. Four-yard gain, a diving catch by the star wide receiver, which is Javon McKinley. So that gets uh, the Irish to midfield as we have our first pass of the game. And Notre Dame off to a quick start in this one. And midfield for the Irish. And this is play number four of their first opening drive. And again, we will have an offensive result. This is going to be a run call, and it will be coming against a run defense. And low number on the 1D12 is going to favor the defense. So two, it's going to be a run level of star D line greater than star O line. And for the uh, for Clemson, star O line or star D line is a one. He's a better pass defender. And a star O line for the Irish, uh, Eichenberg is a two, so that's not going to be the case. So we're going to roll a 1d6. 1 to 2 is no gain, and above that is a gain of one yard. So let's see if Clemson can get the stop, and they do not. Notre Dame continues to move the ball. And Notre Dame now has six points on their opening drive. Clemson needs a stop here, and it is going to be a run play against a run defense. And roll of 11. So run level star running back greater than the star linebacker. Gain of four. So for uh, the Irish, a two and only a one for Balance. I'm sorry, a three for Balance Spectre. Never mind. It's going to be a gain of two. Good hustle by Spectre to make the play. But Notre Dame continues to move the sticks, and they are now down in zone number eight on their opening drive. Ian Buck looking to cap this off with a touchdown, and it is, again, going to be an event. This is going to be a flag on the offense, major two zones, personal foul. So Notre Dame has shot themselves in the foot twice with penalties on this drive. And that puts them back to zone in number six. All right, minus two, and we'll see what they have in store now as Book leads the Irish back up to the line of scrimmage. And this will be a good play. This will be a run play against an X defense. Roll of six. Run level star O line greater than star D line. Cleared out gain of three. So for the Irish, uh, Eichenberg is a two, and Miles Murphy is a one. So that is going to be a two yard gain. And once again, Kyron Williams having a great opening drive for Notre Dame. Puts them back down at zone number eight, a lengthy drive here to start the game for the Irish. Sixes and yet another event, another penalty on Notre Dame, their third of the drive. It's going to be minus one for a minor foul. And the Irish now will reset once again, Clemson trying desperately to get them off the field and not happening so far. And this is going to be a run play against a run defense roll of six. And again, a run level of star running back, and that's going to be a two for Williams against the star D lineman, who is only a single one. So that's going to be a gain of two on a beautiful juke. That gets it down to zone number nine. So Notre Dame knocking on the door early in this one, looking to take a lead. 
Clemson desperately does not want to give up the 14 points if they get into the end zone, and it is going to be a pass play against a pass defense. And roll of 10. Uh, pass level of star O line greater than star D line, and Eichenberg is a two. And on the uh, for the Tigers, Miles Murphy also a two. So that's going to be complete for a two-yard gain, and we're going to check for the receiver. That's going to be a touchdown for the Irish. We'll see who gets credit for that. And four, that was going to be the diamond wide receiver. So scoring on the touchdown is Ben Skoranek, their tight end, as Notre Dame now has taken a 14-0 lead over the Tigers early in this one. Clemson now back out on the field. And Trevor Lawrence needs to work some magic to get them back in the game or keep them in the game. One stop for the Irish so far and a great opening drive. So Clemson comes back out, and it is going to be a pass, and we're going to do regular pass on this one against a run defense and roll of six. So quarterback pass level two or greater, which it is. That's going to be a two-yard completion. Trevor Lawrence hits Amari Rogers and Clemson now. Finally has some points on the board. Second down, second play of their second drive of the game. And it's going to be a – we're going to go deep on this one. It's coming against an X defense roll of two. So pass level of QB greater than star D line. So Trevor Lawrence is a two, and star D line for the Irish also a two. And that is uh, Okundeje. So one to two, and this is going to be a problem for Clemson. 1D6, 1 to 2 is going to be an interception. 5, no, that is going to be a sack by the star D line. No loss, but the drive is stopped. And Notre Dame getting all the best of Clemson early in this one. And we have yet our second turnover of the game. So Notre Dame getting ready to stake the ball for their second possession with a 14 to 2 lead over Clemson. And the grid zone gods, Dave Gardner. What's up, buddy? Yeah, it's really a fun game. It's again, it's it's not a direct translation of football. It is a football-based game, is the best way to describe it. But it's fun. It plays quick. It's uh, always got good action. And um, Gary does a great job, great game components. And of course, start a video. Gary did do the first official uh, real life release of 1980 NFL season. Again, these college teams are my homebrew, but yeah, very fun game to play for a uh, nice 30 minute or so distraction. So Notre Dame now gets the ball and they're going to go with a run play and against a run defense six Clemson desperately needs to shut them down on this drive. So run level of, Star running back greater than star D line. And for Clemson, star D line of one. And Kyron Williams, also a one. Again, a better pass catching back. So we're going to roll, and it's going to be no gain on one to two. And that would be a stop that Clemson needs. Not happening, though, as the Irish get a yard or a zone. That puts them up to 15, 15 to 2 lead. Book resets the line of scrimmage. And again, we go to the event chart. Notre Dame has lived there. Uh, offense gained equal to best skill of either star wide receiver or star running back, but random offensive player is down. All right. So, best offensive rating, and it is going to be a two in either case. So we'll give it to a, a pass to Javon McKinley on the X rating there. And then now we will roll to see who is down. So the way that works is you'll roll the 1D12 and then uh, again, 1 to 3, he's going to be injured and 4 to 6 stunned. So 4. And that is going to be the star running back. So uh, Kyron Williams gets shaken up. 
and we'll see if he's stunned or injured. And two, and that is going to be an injury. So Williams now, he is basically done for the game. That brings up a generic substitute, so that will be zero ratings all across the board for that player. So a big blow for the Irish. You've been running the ball well in this one, and it's going to be a run play against a run defense roll of 12. They've been getting great offensive rolls, Notre Dame has. Uh, perfect execution, potential big gain based on star running back. And again, the star running back is out, so it's a zero run level. So they get whatever is the result of a 1d6 for the gain. And that's going to be three. So the Irish, even uh, with an unfortunate situation, make the most of it. And they are dominating this game so far. And again, we go to the event chart. They've lived there. Uh, minor penalty on the team with the lesser power factor. If equal offsetting penalties, time slot is lost. So these teams both have a 10 power factor. That will be an offsetting penalty. Notre Dame using ball control. And again, we go to the event chart for no gain, random defender, but player is stunned. Roll uh, one, three injured, four to six stunned. So Clemson gets a stop, a much needed stop. They're going to have their own injury now, so we will roll for that. All right, and the roll is a two. That is the star linebacker, and is he going to be injured or stunned? He's only going to be stunned, and the way stun works, he'll have a minus one next time he is the key player, and then after that, he is back to regular strength. Uh, there we go. All right, but a big stop for Clemson, and they desperately need to score. They trail 20-2 to two to get back in this game, and we are into the approaching crunch time, uh, five plays away from crunch time, at which point Notre Dame, if they get the ball, can go into ball control mode and basically bleed out the clock. So Trevor Lawrence needs a big drive here for the Tigers, and it's going to be uh, he's going to go deep against a run defense roll of 10. And once again, Clemson not getting the rolls. So pass level star O-line greater than star D-line. And for the Tigers, their star O-lineman is a two. And Notre Dame star D-lineman also a two. So that's going to be uh, complete for a two-yard gain. We'll see to uh, roll to see who caught the ball. And three, the catch there is going to be made by Cornell Powell for two yards. Keeping score on a, an Excel sheet online. That's just why we delay between plays. So Trevor Lawrence, good start to the Tigers for this, their third drive of the game. And it's going to be another. He's going to, again, go a deep pass. And it'll be against a run defense. Roll of five. And quarterback pass level three. Complete two-yard gain. And, whoops, I'm going the wrong. Oops, sorry, wrong chart. Deep pass, quarterback pass level two or three, complete three-yard gain to diamond wide receiver. And Trevor Lawrence is indeed a two. So that is going to be another catch to Cornell Powell and Clemson with their best drive of the afternoon so far. That puts their point total up to seven, and they desperately need to cash in and get a 14-point uh, score on this one going all the way to the end zone. And Clemson has remained penalty three. This will be a regular pass against a pass defense roll of three. It's probably been the one redeeming factor for the Tigers so far. So pass offense against pass defense, a roll of three. Diamond DB greater than QB. So Diamond DB, and this is where Notre Dame excels. Uh, Kyle Hamilton is excellent. Unfortunately, uh, the second DB, Sean Crawford, no. So that's going to go to Trevor Lawrence. And still, that's going to be an incompletion as Lawrence looks to make the safe throw. And that ends the drive. So Clemson has got, uh, has had horrible luck on these rolls. 
So we're heading into uh, getting close to crunch time and Notre Dame with a 20 to seven lead and they can sew this up with a drive here. Uh, they need three or actually only two plays to get to crunch time, at which point they can go into ball control mode. But of course, I'm going to go to the event chart. This time it's on the defense. So first penalty of the day for Notre Dame. That's going to be a two-zone movement for the Irish. So Notre Dame turning the tables here and conjuring up images of the first meeting. It's going to be a run play against a run defense roll of six. And run level star running back greater than star D lineman. And again, Kyron Williams is a two. And against the run, Miles Murphy only a one. So that's going to be a gain of two with a beautiful, oh, I'm sorry, Williams is out of the game. Never mind. His backup is a zero. Nearly missed that. So this will either be a no gain and a stop or a gain of one. It's going to be a gain of one. And we have now entered crunch time. So Notre Dame can basically bleed the clock. Every play now can take up two segments. And the Irish look poised to pull off the upset here as we enter the waning moments of the game. Look, barks out the signals. It's going to be a pass play, changing it up on Clemson. Pass play against a run defense and 12. That's going to be good for uh, Notre Dame. QB pass level two or three and book play action pass goes over the top and rubbing salt in the wound a touchdown. Unbelievable. It's going to be a seven zone gain and 14 points and Clemson now returning the beat down Notre Dame gave them and the dice have just not been kind to Clemson today. So they'll get the ball back with a chance to make it respectable, but Notre Dame is going to pull off the upset here. I guess you could say a mild upset. Not so much that it happens, but the score thus far. And hurry up mode for Clemson. They're going to start running the ball against a pass defense roll of nine. And start running back two or three. And uh, Eddie N's only a one. He's a better receiver. This is going to be a gain of one for Eddie N and the Tigers. As again, they look to make this somewhat respectable. Trevor Lawrence scans the defense, points out the Mike linebacker, calls the play, and it is going to be a pass play against a pass defense. I'm sorry, pass play against an X defense, roll of five. And pass level of diamond to D-line greater than quarterback sack. And Isaiah Foskey is not. So that's going to be another two-yard gain or two-zone gain. And that's to uh, Eddie Ann out of the backfield. So Clemson, again, looking more at this point just to make it respectable. That puts them at zone number three. And this will be our final play of the game, barring a penalty. Let's see if they can go over the top and get something big here. And it's going to be a regular play, pass play against a pass defense. Roll of 12. And QB pass level 2. It's going to be a 1D6 plus 2. So they need a 7 to score and is going to be 4. And that's going to do it. So Clemson's going to get credit for seven points on this final drive of the game. As that completion goes to Amari Rogers. And that's going to do it. So your final score here in the rubber match of grid zone, Notre Dame 34 and Clemson 14. The Irish came out fast, got a couple of early stops on Clemson, and Clemson never did get all the way into the end zone, uh, scoring only seven points amongst, or I'm sorry, uh, 14 points amongst their four drives. Notre Dame with 34 points on just three. So that's it. Again, grid zone, a very great football 
simulator. And again, not an exact translation of the game, but a very fun uh, rendering of it. Exciting, goes fast, and a very, very nice time killer. Um, one, one of the problems, I think, with a lot of football games is several of them, like Status Pro Football, if you've ever played that, it takes two hours to play a game. And this game, you kind of get that same feel, that same experience, especially now that Gary has released some real-life teams in just a fraction of the time. Again, offline, I can play a game in 20 minutes recording. It's a little longer. It takes about 30. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this. And we still have to get Oklahoma. I think Oklahoma is the only uh, homebrewed team we have not played. And uh, we're going to play them next against the Ohio State Buckeyes. That will be our next college showcase. So until then, thanks for watching. Hit that like button, please. This is Anthony with Bleacher Bums Gaming. Hope you all have a great day, and we'll see you later.